I'm going to show you how to add fractions using fraction strips. And these fraction strips you can print online. They compare different size fractions as a part of the whole. So they're all the same size as this one whole strip. They're just divided into different sized pieces. So the fractions we're going to add are 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. And here's why fraction strips make it so much easier for us to find equivalent fractions and why we need equivalent fractions with common denominators to add. Because when you add fractions, you need to be adding same size pieces. And so I can draw this 2 thirds and 1 fourth and shade that in. But because the pieces are not equal size, you can't name that shaded area. Fraction strips make it easy to show same size pieces for thirds and fourths. So I'm going to get my fraction strip for thirds and I'm going to get my fraction strip for fourths. And I only want two thirds so I'm going to fold it right here. And I only want one fourth so I'm going to fold this one and use just one fourth. And I'm going to put these next to each other so that I can see how much this is together. But like the problem I drew for you, you still can't name how much that is. To do that, I'm going to need to find a fraction strip that has equal sized pieces that can help me represent thirds and fourths. So you can just try a few of them and you, for example, fifths, it doesn't match up. You need it to match up in this seam where the thirds and the fourths meet on your fraction strip that you're adding. You need to have equal size pieces to represent the thirds and equal size pieces to represent the fourths. So fifths doesn't have that. So let's compare the eighths fraction strip. And we can see that eighths does equally represent one fourth, two eighths. But when we come down here to the thirds, it doesn't equally represent the two thirds. So we're going to try a different size. Let's try twelfths. And you can see when I line up the twelfths that this one works because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twelfths that represent two thirds, and I have one, two, three twelfths that represents one fourth. So I can write my equivalent fractions. It's going to be 2 thirds. The equivalent fraction for 2 thirds is 8 twelfths. And the equivalent fraction for 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths. And then I can just add 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 11 twelfths.